I've always wanted to work in the space industry. Um, I was inspired by uh, the astronauts on board the space shuttles in the 90s. When I was four years old, um, I went with my parents to Kennedy Space Center and I turned to my mum and I said, I'd love to be an astronaut and perhaps I could be the first woman to have my children in space because if there's no gravity, then it might make childbirth easier. And my mum thought that this was a pretty profound thing for a four-year-old to say, so she documented it in her diary and she always reminds me that that was the day that, that everybody in my family realised that I wanted to be an astronaut. As human beings, we, we're programmed to discover the universe and understand more about our, the environment that we live in. Um, and a lot of the world's already been explored and discovered, but space is still a bit mystical. It's a bit, you know, it captures the imagination because there's so much left out there. I'd love to see um, astronauts going to the moon or going to Mars in my lifetime, and you never know, that might just happen. The UK has got a huge shortage of um, skilled scientists and engineers. And then when you look at the statistics, you see that we're really, really lacking um, female talent. But it's out there. We just need to promote it more. So many opportunities are going to come about as a result of Tim Peake's mission, but not least all the outreach opportunities. And I think there's so much to be said for inspiring the next generation of scientists. My advice to young people would be to hold on to your ambitions. Don't let anybody laugh at you or anybody change your mind about what you want to do.